Hello! I recently saw Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and I loved it, but it left me wondering, does Kurt Russell exist in the MCU? First of all, spoiler warning, if you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, there are slight spoilers ahead. Let's talk about the movie first and my opinion about it. I liked it. The writing and the dialogue were great, uh, the acting was amazing, I loved the chemistry between all the characters with all the yelling and all the fighting, uh, and I think the pacing was just right, the movie didn't seem, seem long or it didn't seem slow to me. And I also like some small details that help expand the cosmic side of the MCU. For example, the way that they travel great distances in space with all of the jumps or, or the way that Rocket was fixing the ship after it crash landed. Those were great little details. The only thing I didn't like was the humor. I mean, I love the humor, but at times it seemed excessive and like they were trying too hard to make the jokes. But all Marvel movies have their humor, so it isn't that big of a deal. So Star-Lord in the movie makes a lot of 80s references about music, TV shows, movies and actors, the biggest one being David Hasselhoff. So, if Star-Lord knows about David Hasselhoff, the big star of the 80s, shouldn't he know about Kurt Russell as well, since he is another big star from the 80s? And if Kurt Russell does exist, then why didn't Star-Lord recognize him or even mention that his father looks like him? This opens a lot of other questions about the MCU. For example, has Nick Fury seen Pulp Fiction? I mean. Look at his grave in Winter Soldier. It says the path of the righteous man. And if you have seen Pulp Fiction, you know what that is. And if you haven't seen it, well, you should. In the same movie, The Winter Soldier, Captain America has this to-do list which includes Star Wars. So, if Steve Rogers has seen Star Wars, doesn't he find Mace Windu familiar? So, what do I think about all of this? As interesting as it is to find these hidden connections and try to find the answer to these questions, the reality is that there is no way to avoid these kinds of things. Um, the MCU is a huge movie franchise and as such it includes a lot of famous actors who have been in a lot of other famous movies. Not only that, but the people who make the MCU movies are geeks and they are famous for their easter eggs and their references. So they like to put these little gems in their movies as a nod to the movies and the TV shows that they loved. But tell me your opinion. Do you think that this is all accidental or do you think that there is a bigger picture that is hidden and will be revealed in the future? After all, they show that all of the Stan Lee's cameos are actually the same characters, so who knows? Anyway, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is amazing. I loved it, if you haven't seen it, you definitely should. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and my friends. That is all for this video, see you in the next one. Bye bye!